Hey guys, it's your boy Farwell, and today I've got a really, really good video that I'm excited to show you today. Today, I'm going to be discussing the Halo 5 medals which have, ju which have just been released by 343 Industries on their Halo Waypoint blog, um, the update for this week. Now, they talk about several things which I'll be covering in different videos, such as ranks, commendations, and medals. And today I'm going to do medals, seeing as this is... I know my friend Rippin covered ranks on Ready Up Live, so uh, I won't do that. Uh, uh, for now, anyway, and I'll just go straight on to medals because I haven't actually seen a medal video yet. And considering I subscribe to basically half of the Halo community on YouTube and I haven't seen it yet, this is my time to shine. Anyway, um, they've changed the visual design of medals in Halo 5, and um, they're uh, Chad Pafar, their leading UI designer, has spent a lot of time refining the visual design of the medals. They wanted to preserve the classic feel of the legacy medals, while give the medals a fresh look. So, if you remember the beta, they were actually in the middle of the screen rather on the left. I quite like that, to be honest. It sort of it promotes them, it brings them forward, so you know what you're um know that know what you're actually getting. And they've actually separated them into uh, families, I guess. You've got multi kills such as double kill, killing sprees like I'm freaking believable. Uh, melee kills, assassinations, gun punch, perfect kills, kill an opponent with maximum efficiency. Game mode, so each specific game mode, vehicle such as hijack or vehicle destroyed. Long distance, rocket Mary. Assisted kills like an EMP assist or a protector or a game saver, which is a new medal coming in Halo 5. I'm very excited to talk to you about that one. Advanced kills such as quick draw or enemy state kills such as ball true. Now, it uh, explains in the blog that Reversal is one of one of their favourite medals. Uh, this is Max Grossman speaking, the multiplayer designer. And the way you get it is you have to eliminate an enemy while they have done 75% of your da uh, damage to you. And then you go and outplay them. It has to be an outplay because you can't use power weapons. And I don't think you can have the overshield. So, it has to be a legitimate outplay. And this is where people go clutch if you get this Reversal medal. Uh, if you get this reversal metal, uh, medal, medal, I said metal twice, medal, um, you could really start going clutch. Now, there are general medals and they bought new ones in like Star Killer, kill opponent that is ground pounding. A BXR, melee an opponent and kill them with one shot from the BR, so the BXR was a bottom combo in Halo 2 that was basically that. You have Nade Shot, which is uh, obviously references there, killing an opponent with a single headshot after damaging with a grenade. And one of my personal favourites, Noob Combo. They've actually even named a, me a medal Noob Combo. And that is after fully charging a plasma pistol followed by a single headshot to kill, which we came around in Halo 2. <clears throat> uh, there are several other new ones, so like Snipe Punch is where you uh, like hit them with a sniper rifle as they're dashing at you, and then you melee them. That's qu quite simple to explain. They've also got the Killian Air, which is back. They've got Unfreaking Believable Medal, which I don't think was in Halo 4. I don't think it was, but it might have been, but don't get, count me on that one. And my other personal favourite is called Alley Up. <laughs> so, the description is, pick up a weapon that was blasted to you by another player. So when you do it, Alley Up, and the other guy catches it up. I don't know, I find it funny. It's, um, I find it quite funny, yeah, it's, it's, it's funny. Um, they're like Rocket Mary, get a long range kill with a rocket launcher. Um... So those are just general medals. Now the Slayer medals award the clutch kill medal. Player gains the lead with a kill in the final seconds or kills in sudden death. Uh, top Gun be the first player to 10 kills. Power Player get 10 kills with power weapons. Game Saver save a teammate from dying in the 50th death. For the 50th death. So that's like Guardian or Protector. So you kill who, they, who is killing them basically. And you've also got the Perfection medal. Which wasn't in Halo 4. I know that for a fact. It was not in Halo 4. Which I'm glad to see back. <clears throat> you got Stronghold medals. As the, as you know, that wasn't the beta. So it's good to see them back again. And you have Breakout medals. New to Halo 5 Guardians. You have um, Super Vector. Player earns final kill. Was 4-1 down at one point. That's, you know, if you get that, GG to you. Well played. You get Immortal. I love to hear the... the uh, the uh, announcer saying that survive every round of breakout if you do that plaudits go to you because that is going to be difficult to master unless you just sit at the back of the VR but hopefully you get it legit like proper 
Yeah, I've captured the flag medals. Stealth capture. Captured the flag without being spotted. So if you didn't know, in Halo 5, I think uh, if you're if you're carrying the flag in every other Halo, it you wouldn't the flag would not have a marker above its head. But however, in Halo 5, it doesn't until a player sees you. If an enemy player sees you, you get marked, and everyone knows where you are. Um, so that's obviously going to be quite difficult to get to be able to run the flag without even being seen by a player, let alone uh, killed by them. You have loads of Warzone medals, Grunt Kill, Jacker Kill, Watcher Kill, Crawler Kill, Soldier Kill, Elite Kill, Hunter Kill, Knight Kill, Warden Kill, Marine Kill. And apparently, if you get killed by a Marine, they teabag you, so that's... If you, I mean, it's pretty dishonourable if you do die to one of them. That's like a one-shot kill, so... Yeah. You have Warzone Kill Medals, Hydra, there's just all that, all of them ones. And at the bottom of the article, they have a couple sneak peeks of the um, of the uh, previews of the medals in their final form. So I've actually explained about most of these. Uh, triple double, double was in the beta and is in Halo 2 Anniversary. It's where you get uh, double digits in kills, assists, and you win, I think. Oh, and headshots. Doubles, kills in... Double digits and kills, assists, and headshots. Rocket Mary, long distance rocket launcher, of course. Flag Joust, kill another flag player. As you can see, they're sort of shaped. Sorry, got the hoover on in the background, lol. Um, they're sort of shaped to do the game type. So the Flag Joust one is like a rectangle going down. Uh, and then you have like the Killing Spree one there. Naturally, they're always with the spikes coming out. You have the Assassination one. You have the double kills, which is still circular. That sort of thing. Anyway, guys, that's all for me on the medals. Uh, like, subscribe, Twitter, and Twitch. I can't wait for Halo 5. And I've got a montage coming out on Tuesday. And I'll see you guys on the next time. Peace out.